Hey guys, what is up? This is Kirby Super Seven, and today we are looking at a new Nodo game. So this game is called Nodo X Boruto, Boruto, Nodo X Boruto Ninja Voltage. So made by Bandai Namco, which which means it's an official game. Cryware. So let's just start the game right here. So like in the past. There have been there have been a lot of like Nodo games. So there's Nodo Ultimate Blazing, which was like a gacha style and like Fire Emblem style, like turn base, uh, turn base, uh, game. So right now this game is actually a mix between like an action game where you battle like other characters and stuff like that, and there's also kind of like town building and stuff like that. Like not like Clash of Clan town building because that's like a, that's really in depth. It's just like you have a base right here. You can expand it, and you can like you can get uh you can get real from real from this monument right here, and you can expand it to get more real, and you can expand your storage, and you can get coins right here, stuff like that. So you can see on the left right there Hinata. There's Hinata right there, best. I wouldn't say best girl, like Rem is best girl, but Hinata is like my second favorite girl. So right there, she's posing right there. So let me go, uh, let me show you. First of all, uh, profile, not much about profile. You can see from the, you can see my comment. That is my ninja way. My guild name, Tot Petrol. Yep. Be gone, Tots. Maybe so. Uh, let's just show you a simple battle right here. Mm. Story missions are story-based missions. It goes to the Naruto story story arcs, and it uh, since the game is pretty new, like it was just released, like mm, I guess uh, a week earlier. There's only like uh, only five chapters right here, only till the uh, Kisame uh, Kisame arc, Kisame and Itachi arc. Uh, okay, so I, I already completed these good things. So let's just do an attack mission. Uh, attack mission is basically where uh, you attack, like uh, you attack other players' uh, fortresses, like Clash of Clan attacks on their bases. So uh, basically, in a bit, in a fortress, you can choose a, a shinobi to deploy. These are the shinobis I have. I only have to unlock now, like Sakura and a uh, guy. Sakura and Gara, not Gai. Okay, let's just begin. First of all, I'll show you how the game works. After that, I'll show you like the other things. So let's start right here. So there's Naruto. You can move him with the left stick right there, and you can attack with the punching stick on the right. And you can do like uh, Demon Shuriken right there. You can do Triple Stream. You can do Bojo Rush, and you can do a dash. So all three of them uh, use chakra, which is on the top top left uh, hand right there, where Boruto's uh, Boruto's portrait is, and the dash doesn't use any any like chakra. So these are traps that the person who runs this fortress put. So you can use this to even expand the view. You can see this. Okay, so there's ninjas right there. Uh, okay. You can even auto right here, and you uh, you only control uh, the main character in your in your like team. The others are controlled by AI. So let's not auto and let's try to kill these to kill these guys. Okay, triple stream, auto. You can see the game is really action based. Like, okay, so that was pretty easy. You can see the game is pretty like action based instead of the usual usual like uh. Naruto Ninja Blazing stuff like that. Okay, you've got objectives right there, and there is like a rank type of stuff as well. I've already showed you the base, right? So uh, settings, not much. Inbox where you get your items and stuff like that, your notice and stuff, maintenance, stuff like that. Achievements, not much. Uh, missions, I've already shown you. Story missions, attack missions, and special missions are basically missions that like are for some days 
there'll be events like that and you can get stuff from them and there's another mission surprise attack mission which is coming soon so this game is also a gacha gacha game where you have to like get cards and stuff like that i haven't showed you the cards i'll show you in a minute so you've got like the in-game in the like currency right there shinobite right there you have naruto and sasuke cards 50 500 uh, let's just do this right here. I'm show you a, from one of the summoning tickets which you get by playing the game. Yep, you you pull a tongue of a frog to get a card. Yep. Oh shit! Eno looks so beautiful right there. Eno. Too bad Sai got her. <laughs> Eno wanted Sasuke, not Sai. So let's see the shinobi right here. Shinobi list. There's Boruto, Sasuke, Shizune, Hinata, Sarada, Naruto, Choji, Kankuro, Ino, Kagashi, Kisame, Tenten, Timari, Kiba, uh, Rock Lee, Asuma, Shino, and Konohamaru. I don't know why they put Konohamaru in the roster, but he's there. And the other two are Sakura and Gara, which I haven't unlocked right now so if you go into the uh like the shinobi list you can see here the voice if you want if you want hinata's beautiful voice right here ikimasu uh okay so the first thing equipment so if you go into equipment you can see these cards right there's a lot of cards you you can get them from battle you can like as you saw that time like you can get get them from uh shinobites using shinobite summoning so some of these cards holds a uh, like jutsu so here are three jutsus which are given to me from these cards from all of these cards some of them give give this to me i don't have an i don't have a uh, ultimate jutsu for that you need a really rare kind of card so you have ninja tools as well which you get uh, which you can buy as well from the store so ninja tools right and the abilities you can unlock them using like this I don't know what the skill points maybe. Yeah. Awakenings, you can do it when you have hero fragments. So I already unlocked Boruto, right? But if I didn't unlock Boruto, like uh, say I, I haven't unlocked Sakura, right? And I need 70 hero fragments to unlock her. After using the 70 f uh, fragments, if I want to upgrade her to a, a second rarity, I would need another 80 fragments and stuff like that. So yeah, so most of them are one uh rarity one only Nodo is rarity two because in the tutorial it gives you that you can enhance ninja cards stuff like that you can evolve ninja cards as well it's all the basics uh so another thing i wanted to show you were guilds you can only uh get into a guild when you're level 10. this is a guild i just wanted to go in because i just wanted to try how the guild is and the guild is not a really good place like it's you can't do anything you can't gain anything from the guild I, I don't think you can I might be wrong but so it's like you don't have any raid and stuff like that so yeah that's about the whole game so up here you can see the energy bars right there <laughs> tons of energy bars uh, the green shurikens are for pvp bell kind of pvp like you just bell the bases not pvp as well so the second one is hearts which you use for special missions and story missions the third one is shinobite the fourth one uh ryu ryu i guess a chakra i don't know the fifth one uh coins that's about the whole game guys guys i just uh, like really played this game a lot for just like to unlock hinata and then make my team a level 10 right here so I might be a pro. So yeah, that's about the whole game. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be coming back with re a lot of videos because there's tons of games to like cover. You have Animal Crossing, Pocket Camp, you have Tower Fortress, I guess. I'll come back soon. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, and comment. If you want to download this game, it'll be in the links down below. And if you want to join our guild, Thought Patrol, we bust thoughts a lot so yeah so yeah 
Follow me on Twitter if you want, at Kirby07, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Kirby07, signing out. That is my ninja way. Peace.